In this video, we'll put the most popular air purifiers we've tested in tiers. From best to worst, we'll have six tiers. The best units are put in the S tier. The worst are put in the E tier. Most models will fall somewhere in between. We start with the Air Doctor 83000. The 83000 features approximately 380 CFM of airflow, a HEPA particle filter, and a pellet-based carbon, potassium permanganate, and zeolite gas filter. Its HEPA filter is marketed as an ultra HEPA filter that's able to filter particles as small as 0.003 microns at 99.99% efficiency. Though even a standard HEPA filter is also able to filter similarly small particles with similar efficiency. The addition of potassium permanganate and zeolite to its gas filter does make a difference when it comes to unwanted gas filtration. Their addition allows the air doctor to filter a greater number of chemicals more effectively than air purifiers that only have carbon filters. It's also a positive that its carbon filter uses carbon pellets. Many air purifiers use a fibrous filter that's only coated with carbon. Pellet-based filters generally provide more surface area for the absorption of unwanted gases, and so they filter these gases better and they last longer. On the negative side of things, this unit has an unusually low quality thin foam pre-filter that's attached to its carbon filter with Velcro strips. Most top rated competitors have a much higher quality pre-filter. The 83000 is also unusually power hungry and loud on its highest fan speed and can't run as quietly as most top rated competitors on its lowest fan speed, according to our testing. It's also very expensive. We look at an air purifier's price relative to its airflow, its CFM to dollar ratio, and filter replacement cost relative to the size and quality of its filters to evaluate an air purifier's value. The 83000 is very expensive, even relative to its airflow, and it has very expensive replacement filters, even relative to their size and quality. It's primarily because it's not a good value overall that we can only put the 83000 in the C tier. The Austin Air Healthmate features 250 CFM of airflow, a HEPA particle filter, and an activated carbon and zeolite gas filter. It's also very expensive, and it's also not very energy efficient. But its gas filter contains considerably more gas filtration media than that of the Air Doctors or any other air purifier we've tested. In total, its filter contains 15 pounds of activated carbon and zeolite. With this much media in its filter, the Austin is able to remove unwanted gases like harmful VOCs and odors from the air much faster than any other air purifier we've tested. It's primarily because it's so uniquely well optimized for gas filtration that we put the Austin in the A tier despite its high price. The Bissell My Air has very low airflow and doesn't have a HEPA filter. It goes straight into the E tier. The Bissell Air 320 features much better airflow. It outputs at 250 CFM and it features a HEPA particle filter and a good quality pellet-based carbon filter. But it's not very energy efficient, quite loud, and it doesn't have a grill covering its pre-filter. So you can see larger debris accumulating on it, which detracts from the look of the air purifier over time. Its fabric pre-filter is also not very durable. It will show wear as you clean it, and this wear also detracts from the look of the air purifier over time. This air purifier is also not a good value. It's very expensive relative to its airflow. Overall, we put it in the C tier. Next up is the Blue Pure 411. Blue Pure air purifiers, like the 411, use proprietary particle filters that are not manufactured according to HEPA specifications. These units use a combination of filtration and ionization to achieve close to the same efficiency as HEPA filters. The benefit of adding ionization is that it allows for the use of a less dense filter which greatly increases the energy efficiency and reduces the noise output of Blue Pure air purifiers. The main downside is that there isn't nearly as much research, as much testing, there isn't as much proven science behind this method of filtration as there is behind HEPA filtration. And so we generally recommend air purifiers with HEPA filters over these Blue Air units despite their better energy efficiency and lower noise output. Otherwise, the 411 features a fabric pre-filter that wraps around the exterior of the air purifier. And so like the Bissell Air 320, it too will show larger debris accumulating and show wear over the exterior of the air purifier over time. The 411 also features a fairly low quality fibrous carbon filter. Mostly because of its high energy efficiency and low noise output, we still put the 411 in the C tier. The 311 is a larger, higher airflow version of the 411. It outputs at 250 CFM versus 120 CFM for the 411. Unfortunately, it also features a fabric pre-filter 
that fits over the exterior of the air purifier and a fibrous carbon filter. It also features the same type of proprietary particle filter. This comes with the same benefits, good energy efficiency and low noise output, but it also comes with the same major downside, being much less of a known quantity compared to a true HEPA filter. Overall, this model also goes in the C tier. The 211 is an even larger, higher airflow version of the 411 and 311. It outputs at approximately 360 CFM. Despite having more airflow, it features the same basic design as cheaper, lower airflow Blue Pure units. A fabric pre-filter, a proprietary particle filter, and a fibrous or foam-like sheet that's only coated with carbon for gas filtration. This unit also has good energy efficiency and relatively low noise output but again doesn't instill the same level of trust in its particle filtration as you get from air purifiers with true HEPA filters. All things considered, we put all Blue Pure units, including this one, in the C tier. The Coair Mega 400 has even more airflow than the 211. It outputs at approximately 415 CFM. Unlike the 211, it has separate high-quality mesh pre-filters that are positioned behind a grill so that they aren't visible as large particles accumulate on them. It also has true HEPA filters for particle filtration, and it has pellet-based carbon filters for good gas filtration. The only real negative for the Air Mega 400 is that it's not a good value. It's only because it's not a good value because it doesn't offer very good airflow per dollar spent that we only place it in the B tier. The Koei Mighty outputs at approximately 250 CFM. It has a separate high quality mesh pre-filter, a HEPA particle filter, and it offers excellent energy efficiency and low noise output, especially on lower fan speeds. The only real negative for this unit is its carbon filter. Its carbon filter is made of a fibrous material that's only coated with carbon, and so it doesn't filter gases as well as units with pellet-based filters. It's an excellent air purifier otherwise though, and it's a good value. Overall, we put it in the A tier. Next up, we have Dyson air purifiers. All Dyson air purifiers have HEPA particle filters, but low quality mesh pre-filters and what at least looks like fibrous carbon gas filters. Certain models, like this HP09, also add catalytic gas filters, which specifically target formaldehyde. Dyson air purifiers are solid multifunctional appliances. TP series models, double S fans, HP series models can also work as heaters, and pH series models can also work as humidifiers. The problem is that these units are not very good air purifiers, especially relative to their price. Even the largest, most powerful Dyson air purifiers only output at approximately 100 CFM. That's very low airflow. These units are also not a good value comparing their airflow to their price. The cheapest models retail for about $400 the most expensive for upwards of $900. So even in a best case scenario of 100 CFM and $400, the CFM to dollar ratio for a Dyson air purifier is 0.25, which is a six times worse ratio than that of top rated air purifiers we recommend. Again, these are solid multifunctional appliances. So there is some value there if you need these extra functions like cooling, heating, or humidifying. But as air purifiers, Dyson's have very low airflow and very low airflow relative to their price. And so on this air purifier tier list, we have to put them in the D tier. The Germ Guardian AC4825 is a very popular tower style air purifier with approximately 130 CFM of airflow. It's one of only a handful of air purifiers we've tested that features a UV light. The bulb is a very low wattage, it's only five watts, and it's placed in a location that greatly limits the air's exposure to the light. So we question the efficacy of the light. You also don't need to kill germs to filter them. A HEPA filter will capture germs just fine whether they're alive or not. Still, this is a notable feature nonetheless. Otherwise, this unit does have a HEPA particle filter, but it has an especially low quality fibrous carbon filter. Its carbon filter also doubles as a pre-filter. It doesn't have a separate washable pre-filter. Back to the positive side of things, the AC4825 is a very good value. Though it has relatively low airflow, it is very cheap, and it still offers HEPA particle filtration. It's mostly because it's such a good value that we place it in the C tier. In contrast to the Germ Guardian, the Hathaspace HSP001 usually retails for more than double the price and has even less airflow, at approximately 100 CFM of output. It does have a HEPA filter, and it has a pellet-based carbon filter. 
It also features an additional cold catalyst filter. Carbon filters most unwanted gases, but has difficulty absorbing certain low molecular weight chemicals like formaldehyde and ammonia. The HSP001's cold catalyst filter filters out these unwanted gases that carbon cannot absorb. So when it comes to gas filtration, the HSP001 does very well. The problem with this air purifier is its low airflow compared to its high price. It has one of the lowest CFM to dollar ratios of any air purifier we've tested. It's mostly because it's such a poor value that we put the HSP001 in the D tier. The Honeywell HPA series of air purifiers includes the HPA100, HPA200, and HPA300. HPA All of these units use the same HEPA filter. It's just duplicated on larger units. The HPA100 uses one filter, the 200 uses two, and the 300 uses three. Particle filtration is good on these units because they use HEPA filters. Gas filtration is not very good because they use a fibrous carbon filter. Pre-filtration is also not very good because they don't have a separate dedicated pre-filter. Their carbon filters double as pre-filters. These units are also not very energy efficient and quite loud relative to their airflow. They are a decent value though, and especially the HPA 200 and 300 do have good airflow. Overall, we put these units in the C tier. The IQ Air Health Pro Plus outputs at approximately 300 CFM. It features a hyper HEPA particle filter and a five pound carbon and alumina gas and odor filter. Similar to Air Doctor, IQ Air claims that this unit's hyper HEPA filter captures smaller particles with especially high efficiency. But as I mentioned earlier, the same is true for a standard HEPA filter also. Even a standard HEPA filter also filters very small particles with very high efficiency. The fact that this air purifier's gas filter contains five pounds of carbon and alumina doesn't make a difference when it comes to gas filtration. As was true for the Austin Air Healthmate, such a large quantity of media allows it to remove unwanted gases much faster than most other air purifiers. Such a large amount of media also takes much longer to saturate. The addition of alumina also allows it to capture a greater number of chemicals than a standard carbon filter. The IQ Air also features a very high quality pre-filter, a very high quality design in general, and a 10-year warranty. On the negative side of things, it doesn't have very good energy efficiency and it's especially noisy on higher fan speeds. This is also the most expensive air purifier we've tested. Overall, we put it in the B tier. We've tested three Lavoid Core Series air purifiers so far, the 300, the 400S, and the 600S. All three air purifiers feature the same combination filter, just in a different size. This combination filter is composed of a HEPA particle filter and a pellet-based carbon gas filter. So far, so good. However, it also features a low-quality mesh pre-filter that stretched right over the HEPA filter. Because of its proximity to the HEPA filter, cleaning this type of pre-filter can damage the HEPA filter. The filters are also not in the best order to maximize the life of the HEPA filter. Placing the carbon filter in front of the HEPA filter allows the carbon filter to act as an extra barrier for larger particles, which extends the life of the HEPA filter. This combination filter places the carbon filter behind the HEPA filter, and so its carbon filter cannot provide an extra layer of protection against large particles. In most other aspects though, these are very good air purifiers. They offer very good particle and gas filtration overall because they use HEPA filters and pellet-based carbon filters. They're also highly energy efficient, run relatively quietly, and they're a good value. The 300 and 600S especially have excellent CFM to dollar ratios and very reasonable filter replacement costs, which does offset somewhat the fact that they have low quality pre-filters and don't have their filters in the proper order to maximize filter life. Overall, we put all three Lavoid Core Series air purifiers in the A tier. The Medify MA112 features separate washable pre-filters, HEPA filters, and pellet-based carbon filters. So it does well with pre-filtration, particle filtration, and gas filtration. It's also highly energy efficient and reasonably quiet relative to its airflow. On the negative side of things, it doesn't have its carbon filters positioned in front of its HEPA filters. So it lacks that extra layer of protection over its HEPA filters, which increases filter replacement frequency. Its filters are also expensive and the air purifier itself is expensive. Overall though, we still put the MA112 in the A tier. Why? Because of its exceptionally high airflow. It outputs at approximately 560 CFM. That's roughly 35% more airflow than the next highest airflow air purifier we've tested. 
If you're looking for a single high airflow air purifier for a large oversized room, it's the best option on the market. Because it's so uniquely well optimized for covering very large areas, we put it in the A tier, despite its high price and the cost of its replacement filters. The Oransi Mod is also a high CFM air purifier, though it doesn't have nearly as much airflow as the MA112. It only outputs at 390 CFM. This unit features a very similar filter to that of Lavoid Core Series air purifiers. It's a single combination filter composed of a low quality mesh pre-filter, a HEPA filter, and a pellet-based carbon filter. Because the air purifier itself is wrapped in a fabric-like material, it looks like it has an additional outer fabric pre-filter, but it doesn't. This fabric is wrapped around a solid plastic shell. Air enters this unit through a grill around the bottom of the air purifier. As was true for Lavoid Core Series units, the mod's low quality pre-filter and filter order will result in more frequent filter replacement. The difference here is that the mod's combination filter is more expensive to replace. The air purifier itself, the mod, is also usually considerably more expensive than the comparable Lavoid 600S, which has similar airflow to the mod. The 600S is an A tier air purifier, mostly because it's not as good of a value we put the mod in the B tier. The Rabbit Air Bio GS 2.0 has a high quality separate washable pre filter, a HEPA filter, and a pellet based carbon filter, and has these filters in the proper order to maximize the life of its HEPA filter. The one major negative for this unit is that it's very expensive relative to its airflow, so much so that it has one of the worst CFM to dollar ratios of any air purifier we've tested. It looks great and it works well, but because it's such a poor value, we have to place it in the D tier. The Rabbit Air Minus A2 also has high quality filters. Its carbon filter isn't positioned in front of its HEPA filter, but it does have an additional medium filter protecting its HEPA filter on top of a high quality mesh pre-filter. This air purifier of course has a HEPA filter for good particle filtration and its carbon filter contains carbon pellets for good gas filtration. It also features a fifth customizable filter. We chose an additional fibrous carbon filter. We couldn't pick an additional pellet based filter to maximize unwanted gas adsorption when we purchased this unit for review. The problem with the Minus A2, same as it was with the BioGS 2.0, is that it's very expensive relative to its airflow, so much so that it has an even lower CFM to dollar ratio than the BioGS 2.0. Like the BioGS 2.0, it looks great and it works well, but because it's such a poor value, we have to put it in the D tier. The Shark Air Purifier 4 uniquely uses four smaller fans instead of one larger fan to pull air through its filters, hence the name Shark Air Purifier 4. The biggest advantage of this design is that it allows the Shark to run more quietly than most other air purifiers we've tested at the same level of airflow. The Shark 4 does feature a HEPA filter for good particle filtration. Unwanted gas filtration quality varies depending on which type of filter comes with the unit and which type of filter you buy for replacement. The Shark Air Purifier 4 also features a very prominent air quality display, though it wasn't very accurate during testing. The biggest negative for the Shark though, is that it's not a good value. At approximately 200 CFM of airflow and at its regular retail price, it has a CFM to dollar ratio of only 0.7. It's primarily because it's not a good value that we put it in the D tier. The Winix 5500-2 is the best air purifier we've tested. It features 250 CFM of airflow a high quality separate washable pre-filter, a HEPA filter for particle filtration, and a pellet based carbon filter for unwanted gas filtration. Its filters are in the proper order to maximize the life of its HEPA filter, and it has good energy efficiency and low noise output relative to its airflow. The biggest reason why it's the best air purifier we've tested though, is that it offers all of these things we look for in an air purifier and does so at a very affordable price point with a very good CFM to dollar ratio. It's primarily because it offers such a unique combination of performance and value that it's the only air purifier we put in the S tier. And that just about wraps up this video, ranking the most popular air purifiers we've tested so far. See the description of this video for the latest updated list of all of the air purifiers we recommend, and thank you for watching.